This is Chopping Up Hoops with your pal, Sal. Let's get right to it. Let's talk about the Portland Trailblazers and the LA Lakers game last night. Looks like the Lakers fell short 104-102, and it was nothing but awesome for uh, Dame Lillard last night. He had a 41-point performance, and he had, he's gone back-to-back -back games with over 40 points. But I don't think this is something he can keep up, but he does now have a stellar backcourt partner in Anthony Simons. I'm giving him props because Anthony Simons is from the state of Florida. Really stepped up his game as year by year and the Portland Tra Trailblazers have continued to be patient with him and the patience has paid off. Let's talk about the Portland Trailblazers right now are 3-0 and and the Lakers are 0-3. So what does that mean right now in this, early, this early in the season? We don't really know, but we need to pay attention to this because they are on the upswing. Anthony Simons is a young player at only 23, and but Dame is 32. But they have a young, young team still, even with Dame being 32 years old. The Lakers, on the other hand, they're the oldest team in the NBA right now by average age. Then comes the Miami Heat and the Milwaukee Bucks. But the Miami Heat are old in age because Udonis Haslam still has not retired. If if Udonis Haslam retires, they are not even talked about as one of the oldest teams in the NBA. With the LA Lakers, they are dealing with a lot of aged players. And I think the major component with the LA Lakers is they're, they're building around LeBron when in fact LeBron is 36 years of age. But he's 36 years young the way he continues to play as an NBA player. So understand that these are young players that he has to mentor and groom. If he's not grooming these players, they're not going to be able to support him when it comes down to crunch time, doing what he's doing with the LA Lakers. He will not win a championship. Now, that in comparison to the Golden State Warriors, they have old veteran players on the team, but they understand the importance of building young players and building confidence in these young players. Do Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, and Draymond Green have a big role to play in this? Yes. And I think that they put their egos aside, which makes it easier for the young players to actually have that confidence and not worry about if they're taking the shots or Steph Curry and Clay Thompson and all the rest of the older guys aren't taking the shots. They are confident in their ability to play the game and that comes through the goal. that comes through this coaching staff which which starts with Steve Kerr which continues to build them up as as players. I think the issue with the coaching staff in the LA Lakers is because they have LeBron. LeBron is a big ego to tame. Is he a team player? He does get players involved, but he is a ball dominant player. He doesn't play well off the ball. So he has to continue to carry the team at 36 years old in 82 games, not including pay playoffs. That is a big task for a man his age. But once again, the man, LeBron James, spends a million dollars of his own money on his health. Will he continue to play well? That's that's not a question. He always plays well. LeBron always gives it all, his all. But... Now we have these up-and-coming teams. We have New Orleans Pelicans. They're young. We have the Portland Trailblazers. They are young other than Dame Willard. And with the addition of Jeremy Grant to the, during the offseason, that was a great addition. Heck, he hit the game-winning shot against the Lakers last night. And he always has played well no matter which team he's with. Jeremy Grant played well with the Denver Nuggets when they made that run in the bubble. And also, he did well with the be, be, with the Detroit Pistons, and that's the reason why they felt, Portland felt that they that Jeremy Grant would be a good fit with his team. Chauncey Billups last night, I mean, he indicated Dame is back, and he said, and he's pretty much putting the league on notice. Dame has always been back. He even hit that little, once he hit that shot, he hit that little, Dame time, wrist action. Let's be real, Dame's always been a walking bucket. 
And he is really good at getting people around him better also. I mean, the guy is loyal to a T. So he wants to win a championship in Portland. He wants to bring Portland their first championships since Bill Walton did it in the 70s. That's a long time coming. But if Milwaukee can do it, he can do it also. I mean, you still have Nurkic, Nurkic which is going to give you a double-double almost every game. Heck, just in these three games alone that they've been playing, he's already giving them 11 points and 12 rebounds a game. And he's almost giving them three assists. So Nurkic is a solid player, and he's going to continue to give them the support they need. Also, another Florida kid, got to give him some props, Nasir Little out in Portland. He's doing his thing, and he's evolving, and he's becoming a good contributor off the bench for the Portland Trailblazers. So we were talking about young teams. Let's talk about the New Orleans Pelicans. Last night, they came short in overtime to, against the Utah Jazz at home. They were down by 16 in the fourth quarter. They came back and managed to take it to OT. And that was without Brandon Ingram, who left with a with a concussion or something going on. Something happened with his head. And then you had Zion, which left with a hip. That's the only concern I have with Zion, his ability to stay on the court, his health. Because if it's not one thing, it's another. And he's really worked hard to get back onto the court. So we'll see how it goes. They do have C.J. McCollum, and I think Brandon Ingram will be cleared and he'll be back. I mean, if you look at Brandon Ingram, he looks like a different person and like he's ready to win. He doesn't want to be known as Baby Baby KD. He wants to be known as Brandon Ingram. He wants to be known as his own person. And he's he left on some sort of mission and came back ready to go. And I love to see that. I mean... These young teams are not enamored by these big-time superstars anymore. They know they can do it, and they know they can score on them. So it's a matter of time. Like with LeBron, he's got to come. There comes to a point like D. Wade gave LeBron the keys to Miami. LeBron's got to give the keys to AD or somebody on that team that he feels has the capability of helping him. If not, he's going to have issues all season with the Lakers. No. Is what Russell Westbrook a key? Will he be traded anytime soon? We don't know. It's all a matter of time. We'll, we'll play this out. And it's early in the season. So let's just continue to watch these things, see how they play out. And hopefully Lakers will be in the playoffs. I don't have any question that they won't. It's rare where LeBron James is not in the playoffs. But at the same time, nobody is safe when it comes to the Western Conference. The playoffs, when it comes to the Western Conference, everybody is always battling for those last three positions. And you don't want to be in the outside looking in. I mean, look at the Denver, Jamal Murray's back and Michael Porter's back to support two-time MVP Nikola Jokic. So you have Phoenix, you have Dallas Mavericks. I mean, the list goes on and on, and no, there's no telling who's going to who's gonna pop off in the West. So we need to just pay attention to the West. The East is usually the 76ers, Miami Heat, Boston Celtics, Milwaukee Bucks, and then from there, you decide. Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte Hornets, and, the list go, and, and it goes down and down from there on. But you got those top four. But with the Western Conference, it's always a hard play with the top teams to get into the playoffs. That's why the Western Conference is a reason they started to play in. It wasn't the Eastern Conference. It's just it was always so competitive that they decided to do a play-in. And I guarantee you it was for, because of the Western Conference and not the Eastern Conference. Well, listen, guys, if you like what you heard, Subscribe, share, like, comment. This is Chop It Up Hoops with your pal Sal. God bless and be kind to each other.